Tonight we spoke to police about the chaos that man created and how officers responded. Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese walked through video from the scene with APD. Both of these vehicles are the FBI armored vehicles. Um, that's their, their armored vehicle with uh, not too many officers inside of it and then another armored vehicle they've got with uh, officers obviously riding the rails. As police flooded the scene, 911 calls came in from different locations. Some saying they saw a shooter, others saying they heard shots. But police found no sign of the person behind the concern. Based on the calls we got and what we ended up finding, or in this case not finding, it's a good possibility he, the, the individual we're looking for, and I don't want to call him a suspect at this point because we don't think he's actually committed a crime. He's just a person we would like to speak to. Um, probably lives someplace in this trailer park because it was close enough for him to get there before our response could get, get there. Um, and also there's, there's plenty of, of trailers for him to, to be able to hide in. Was there added concern because of what has happened at MCOR in the past? Yeah, absolutely. There, anytime there's, there's, there's history at a particular place, um, it brings up memories. Um, and, and so it, it might make it a little more um, emotional than, than a normal call would. About 50 officers responded, FBI, APD, and the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department. We've got to respond to the information that is given to us. And when we're told over a 911 call, we've got an active shooter in our building, that's got to be the response. Because if your loved one is in that building, that's the kind of response you're going to want to see. Reporting in Albuquerque, Regina Reese, Action 7 News.